Let's talk about the episode. Let's talk about the episode. So, some of my faves are back. We got JJ back. We got Theo back. They both surprised. They families. I was more than happy and surprised to see Theo, though. Like, it been too long. Like, I'm glad Theo back. We don't know how long we gonna keep him, but we got him back. Um, welcome back to the fold, even if it is for this party or whatever. We glad to have you back. JJ, glad to have you back, even though you did kind of leave on a sour type of, you know, I'm gone top of now, but we glad you got yourself together, we glad you still smiling and glowing and happy to see your family, happy to see Salem, you're probably more excited that, um... Kristen gone to prison, but we glad to have you back either way, JJ. We glad you back, Theo. We happy to see you. Now, Kayla and um Steve. Kayla, even though Allie do have a case and she was raped, that doesn't mean that Tripp done it. Why you snapping at Steve, saying that the test say otherwise, saying that he is her rapist and all this, you might want to slow down, back it up, and toot it all the way backwards. Because University Hospital is not 100% percent and certain when it comes to DNA tests, paternity tests, or any other type of test y'all run. Let's get that on out. Let's let's get that on out the way now. Kayla, I know you the head that you the head woman in charge of university. We know you think everything coming out of there is one hundred percent certain and one hundred percent true. But how many times that we didn't got a DNA test that was supposed to say one thing but said the other thing? How many times that we got some test results wrong? How many criminals then ran through them halls and did what they had to do? and almost killed a couple of people in the past. Like I said, University Hospital is becoming slow Salem PD all over again for me, and I'm not understanding, Kayla. Like, you was with Tripp and Steve. Now you feel like these two DNA tests is enough to say that Tripp raped Ali. Even though we know people like to play around, especially at University Hospital when it comes to those types of tests. So I'm not understanding Miss Head in charge, Miss Head Lady in charge, why you think those two tests are correct. Trip wrong, Steve wrong for defending his son, and you feel like Allie got the right person. Even though she was raped, we gonna give her dad. However, how many times has DNA tests, paternity tests, and everything else under the sun had a little finger in it and then squirted it around to make it say what they wanted to say? I'm just saying, Kayla, I ain't bashing your, your, your hospital or nothing. I understand you think your hospital got some integrity, integrity left into it, but it ain't got none left. None whatsoever. Your hospital do not have no confidence, no integrity, and none of that. And I'm saying it wrong, I know. But it ain't got none of that, Kayla. Like, I'm sorry. This is your hospital. We know you can't control things. You can't be in all places at once. But after all them DNA tests, they done got wrong. How you got spies up and all through that hospital. If you ain't there supervising that test, how can we be how can we be 100 certain that that test said what it was supposed to say and somebody didn't go stick something in that test or happen to get you know something to stir that test around to say something else that it shouldn't be saying how we know that's trip DNA sample and how come well how would we know this? Somebody could have easily got Steve DNA or whatever, but I, I'm just saying, Kayla, you might want to calm yourself. I, I'm just saying you might want to calm yourself and cool yourself down while you snapping at um, Steve trying to defend his son and he believe his son, even though I don't understand why you jumping ships out of a sudden. A DNA test from your, how can we say this nicely? 
your crazy hospital where stuff been known to be altered, tampered, and played with that we can be 100% certain. I'm just saying, Kayla, I, mm, you might want to supervise your DNA test, especially when it becomes to trip or returning the trip. You might want to, you know, sit there and supervise. Matter of fact, somebody should be there supervising in the first place because university has got it wrong on so many occasions. It's not even much funny, but we're going to move along from that. Gwen, Miss Gwen. So we use it, Abigail, to get what you want. A letter between Jack and Kate. Now, I only been watching Days for, what, 10, 11 years. Jack is not Kate type of girl. Kate and Jack, they won't mix well. They like oil and water. I don't think Jack got enough money to satisfy a Kate thirsty lifestyle. Do I can see them potentially becoming something? Kate, it's not, I mean, Gwen, it's not going to happen. And Abigail, while you were so distraught at this party, drinking booze like you was, I, you was tearing that booze up, even though we know that wasn't actual booze at that party. We know that was water making it look like it was wine. But, yeah, you was goggling that th stuff down like you was thirsty. You ain't had nothing to drink all day. Like, oh, Abigail, you let one little letter between Kate and Jack. You ain't even much read the letter. You just seen a letter from Jack to Kate, and you think the absolute words. When have you known since you known your dad and since you known Kate for them to ever be a thing, have a secret that they don't want out or whatever? I'm concerned, Abigail. Like it's like you kind of jump in the gate for me. You are so many words. How many times have you ain't? How many times have your mother and your dad got together, broke up, got together, broke up? When have Kate ever jumped into the breaking up and she decided to be an item with Jack? Like that even must sound nasty. Just thinking about it, like Abigail, I think you're jumping the gun again. Gwen getting everything she want out of you. Basically, she forced you to go in Kate room to find that letter. I don't know why you would want to go in Kate room looking for, what was it, shoes she was looking for on the Thursday episode? Shoes or something she was looking for? Then you happen to find the letter and assume the word she didn't open the letter. You just saw that it was Jack writing the Kate. That could have been anything that you got. I'm going to let you run with that, and I'm going to let you have it. Gwen, Gwen, that still doesn't mean you're going to get what you want. Like, you could sit there and hope and pray or whatever you think you're doing, thinking that's going to save you. You're going to get what you want and more. I heard there's a stepsister angle between Gwen and Abigail. Is it involving Never mind. But anyways, though, Gwen, you still not going to get what you want. So I don't know why you sit up there pushing Abigail to talk, to tell a speech at her party. Um, This is Jack and Jennifer. How many years anniversary? John and Marlena didn't go because they had their own anniversary to play around with. Chad, Abigail, JJ, Gwen, Kate, Brun, Jake, Theo, Abe, that, like Jake said, that party was born. Like, you all think for a high achievement as they, as they got, you all think that party would have had, you know, it would have been fuller. Not no open spots where you can break dance in, walk through all that other good stuff. Like, you will expect that uh, at least half of the Hortons to be there. I mean, at least half of them. You know it's a whole bunch of Hortons. So I'm not understanding how half of the, well, not even much half of the Hortons, about 5% of the Hortons, not even much, five, what, 3% of the Hortons were there? And 
John and Marlena wasn't there because they was doing their own thing. Jake came thanks to Kate. Gwen planned the party. She using this to get at Abigail, but it and think about it. That's a shot more at Jack and Jennifer. Not a shot at Abigail. So that's why I'm confused and wondering what angle are you trying to pull when it comes to that letter that Jack wrote the K. That's more of a slap at, Ab at Jack and Jennifer. Not Abigail, unless you got another surprise somewhere in there that you haven't showed or told us about. But I'm not understanding the anger there. Help me understand this anger that you aiming at. Because right now you all over the place and you just shooting and hope a bullet hit. That's all I see right now. Like, I don't get your anger. I don't get your storyline. I know you here to get back at Abigail from your childhood because y'all were stepsister once upon a time. I think Abigail got all the attention. You got none. So now you coming back in her future to come back to try to get back at her. But this shot you aiming at is aiming more at Jack and Jennifer, not Abigail. Yes, yeah, she upset. Yes, yeah, she drinking like a booze ham, but... What's the angle? And of course, Chad had to get it, get it, Jake, as usual. Like, you just want to hate that man just because you don't like that man at all. So I'm not fit to go there. Like I said, Kate and Jake fit to become a thing. We already see that happening. Um, I don't know why she would invite him to this party. You know, Chad there. Chad don't get along with him. Um, the other people okay with him, but Chad, the main person that don't like him, and how come nobody saw Abigail over there drinking in the corner, knowing she on medicine and knowing she should be drinking like that, but she drinking like she haven't had a drink in years, and nobody caught her over there in the corner, I mean, Trying to drink, shake, and ain't nobody caught her doing over doing that in the cone and not much, Chad. Chad, you can tell from her body language that something was up until uh, the speech came up and it was it was her time to give the speech. And then all of a sudden you you started to feel concerned and worried for her. That's when you noticed something was wrong. After all that time then passed with her drinking and then the speech came up. Um, she was nervous. She had a look in her eyes. Like, out of all the people in that party, could nobody tell that Abigail that something was going on with Abigail? But okay, I guess. We have to wait and see Monday what happens, though. But that's about all that happened besides John and Marlena taking up, taking up the majority of the episode with that hourglass celebrating their anniversary. And celebrating, um, yeah, celebrating their anniversary and they doing their own thing, which they could have came the uh, Jack and Jennifer thing and did a joint venture since they want to get married jointly. I'm not understanding why they wouldn't just do it together, but okay. But anyway, so y'all, that was the episode. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'll see y'all later. Enjoy the rest of y'all night and have a good weekend. Bye.